Welcome to Monongahela, Pennsylvania, founded in 1769. Yes, we just celebrated our 250th anniversary. We are a small but proud river town bearing a Native American name, the same name as the river that flows through it north to Pittsburgh. We are nestled in historic Washington County in the rolling hills of southwestern Pennsylvania that people love to visit and call home. We sit surrounded by what was the heart of the American steel industry. We are fighting hard so we're not one more Rust Belt town. Our founding fathers set up our town so we'd never have heavy industry. We're a bedroom community that is about two square miles in size. Population 4,100. The average income, 27,000. We have unlimited potential here. In 2019, as we celebrated our 250th birthday, People who love our quaint little town came to celebrate. With very little money, but a whole lot of heart. We had a parade, dug up our 50-year-old time capsule, rocked on the river with some great concerts, and we set a Guinness record by creating the world's largest wedding cookie table. We have the first riverfront stage called an Aquatorium. It is a terrific location for entertainment. A restaurant in our hometown, Angelo's 2, had the ingenious idea to hand make a work of art, a Ghostbusters display that had people flocking to our hometown. Then, two months later, Angelo's two decided to outdo themselves and they created another sensational display for Christmas. We've been having such a good time and showing such potential that for the first time in our history this past October, the Pennsylvania governor dropped by to visit to see what we are doing right. The Whiskey Rebellion ended right here in Monongahela. Much of our town was built on the backs of the immigrants who settled here. Much of the building was done in the 1800s, designed by a local architect. A lot of our older homes and businesses have been well cared for, but others, they need help. Our Main Street area is the most visible and historic section of our town. We have great architecture, but several homes can use a facelift and some TLC. The entrances to our town would benefit by having some sprucing up. Our library is a popular gathering place, but would benefit by getting some new fixtures and general rework. Our youth are sorely in need of places to go and things to do. Our largest park called the Mounds is suffering from a lack of community resources. We can't afford to make new dugouts for our little league teams. Our basketball court, tennis court, and playground are in disrepair. We suffer from a lack of recreation. Chess Park is a central gathering place, but it has some problems with underground wiring. We don't have the resources to repair it, but when we hold events, we cannot have tents supported by stakes driven into the ground for the fear that we'll hit underground wires. Our riverfront is a key area for us. We would love to have some innovative ideas for lighting up the river. Our aquatorium where we hold concerts would benefit by having updated concession and eating areas, handicapped seating, and updated sound and lighting for our concerts. We would love to offer some recreational activities that will help us to attract tourists. We don't have a hotel in town. We'd like to get a few homes upgraded to be marketed as Airbnbs so tourists have a place to stay. A project near and dear to our heart is restoring the 19th century home of Riverboat Captain David Longwell. As the new home of our historical society, the building is on the National Register for its architecture. It is a potential tourist attraction and hometown welcome center, and it is a community asset. It has great bones, but we need help taking it back to being the majestic home of a legendary riverboat captain. We think we're a perfect choice for a hometown makeover because our size is manageable. We don't have major blighted areas. We just need some tender love and care. Ben and Aaron, we think we're the perfect choice for your hometown takeover. We're historic, we have charm, we have architectural treasures, and we hope you'll help us gear up for our next 250 years.